I should. Okay, so um, I'm going to welcome everybody um, to this meeting on September 9th. And it's only about that one agenda item voting on the top priorities for uh, our recommendations to the Board of Supervisors for the budget. Um, let's see, I'm going to do that. So this is our, um, I think, hmm. I don't know why that came up. Can you see my screen uh, with the list? Yeah. Great, thank you. Highlights on it? Yeah, I highlighted some because um, the way this came in and I sent it out was just basically an order of how we got these suggestions because we were gonna do a quick vote, but um, now that it's not a quick vote, we have, uh, you'll notice that the topics sort of show up in various aspects, uh, areas of the, the list and the topics are related. Oh, it didn't show up. Um, I had a legend here that got lost, I, let, I guess. So the green highlighted areas are related to correctional health and the blue are obviously related to more vulnerable populations. And it's, it's not, for instance, the climate change and impact of, upon vulnerable populations is very different than homelessness supports, but it's just identifying those populations that show up in each of these topics. So um, I'm gonna invite any discussion about these. Um, people can uh, ask questions about exactly what they mean because some have explanations, a little description with them, some don't. So if anybody wants to explain a little bit more about what it, um, that topic means, um, if they, nominated it, or even if they didn't, and they just know more about it, that would be welcome. So um, a lot of these, as we can see, at least three of them are correctional health. This is um, very much related to the consent decree. A couple of them are um, uh, definitely part of the consent decree. So they need to be addressed, um, but obviously there are, um, these, these nominations talk about adding more emphasis, more funding from the, the county on that. Um, and as we know, there's a lot of effort going towards homelessness, but if people are feeling that there's not enough funding or support from the Board of Supervisors, then these uh, there are a lot of topics here for that. Um, Oh, let's see, um, STDs, we will have a presentation later in the year from um, that department dealing with that. And as mentioned last meeting, there are pretty high rates of STDs in this county as they have been for a very long time um, compared to most of the country in some regards. Um, and um, we do have, we have heard a lot about behavioral health and the continuum of care. And certainly that is a huge issue, especially during COVID, um, we know that. So anybody else wanna chime in? For I have a quick question, this is Tina. Um, how important is the conditional or parenthetical information on some of these options? Um, for example, the STD, are we focusing specifically on youth? Or are we voting more broadly on STD um, issues in general? I think it's more STD issues in general, but okay. I think just as a background that this isn't the youth and marginalized communities, especially because of COVID too, are not, um, not receiving or um, there needs to be more outreach to them, more mm -hmm. resources for that. So, but it is generally the STD. We can put that parenthetical or, you know, you can write in uh, if that's a vote 
that um, specifying a little bit more detail and maybe we'll include it at, as part of the description. I think I'm the one that proposed number three, which I guess is, I guess there's some overlap between that and some of the other topics. Definitely. Um, the intent of what I proposed for number three was really to improve access to healthcare for vulnerable populations, but also encompassing a lot of the other things like STDs, uh, you know, treatment of substance use, case management services, and and then the correctional side too. So I'm just looking at the list and it seems like some things overlap. So I don't know if we just need to reorganize the, them or if, at, anyway, just, just throwing that out there. I know it's kind of last minute. And so, yeah, a, a lot of these areas on the list overlap too, but if you, do you want to propose reorganizing it or? I mean, I, I would propose perhaps rolling in um, the STDs into the, into number three, because it's already there and we can and just consider youth a vulnerable population. Um, like one of the populations, we can just add that. I think mm -hmm. number eight, the COVID-19, we do have one. Yeah, you mentioned have that in the, in the outbreaks in vulnerable mm -hmm. settings. Um, and and, and it's the zone. climate change in vulnerable population. I don't know if that's a separate yeah. topic or, or, just, or just one big bucket of, um, I guess I proposed healthcare access. So maybe that's different than, than some mm -hmm. of the other stuff like housing and vulnerable populations, but. Can I jump in yeah, and ask you. a question? Sure, sure. So is, is the purpose just to highlight to the board what we think is important or is it more specifically to try to drive budget lines? Because if it's the latter, does it actually help us to be more specific, like not roll things up into vulnerable populations, but be more specific about where the programming or budget would go? I'm not really sure how okay. this is in the past. It'd be helpful to see. So um, this is what we, got from uh, Sandy Damiano that mm -hmm. um, you can read, can you read it on the screen? Is it big enough? Yeah, and I had a chance to look before. I just wasn't sure, is this the first time this is happening or do we have a sense of? I have not happened? seen this happen before. I think this okay. is their effort to, as it says, increase transparency and to provide for uh, public input. Um, we're not, you know, we are, we're a board, but I think they've asked all the boards, I know they've asked all the boards for input. Um, and it's it doesn't say really, it's helped determine budgetary priorities. Um, so I guess, you know, it's an opportunity, they can do with it what they will, but um, we could, have the priorities and expand in these parentheticals and you know to give them a better idea of what we're talking about i don't know what they're how they're gonna deal with it okay honestly yeah that's helpful but it is you know uh, it is another opportunity to to let them know what we're concerned with in general as well as specifically for their determining budgetary priorities. Okay. Just to sort of tack on to what Larissa was saying, a couple of the ones that I think you pointed to, Larissa, um, are my own. And I think my what I sort of perceive as one of the major priorities is just broadly expanding supports and services to vulnerable populations. So I think if we can expand number three a little bit to just beyond healthcare access, but you know, I was even thinking of cooling centers during the summer for those vulnerable populations that may not have access to air conditioning or maybe living um, without shelter. So if we're open to expanding what three would include, I think we would absolutely roll up a few more of these. Um, but I think to Libby's point, then the question then is it, is, are we going too broad at that point? Or like, are we yeah, not I, able- I mean, I think yeah. there are two different questions, right? Really? Because one, it's sort of addressing the social, like the social determinants of health mm -hmm. and the other is addressing healthcare access. Right. I would think that might be, even though it's a focus on vulnerable populations, it might be two topics. 
or I don't know, what do others think? Maybe it's not, maybe it's not too much. Maybe it's increasing access and resources for vulnerable populations. Let me see if Olivia's on and ask her if she has a better understanding for how, um, what exactly the Board of Supervisors is looking for and how she thinks um, our recommendations would be best presented and more specific, more, you know, broader. I'm on, what was the question again? So we're sort of struggling with, um, the question is, what are they looking for? How are they going to use this? So are, are um, these topics that we have that we're nominating, is, would it be better to leave it broader, be more specific? Um, how are they you know, going to incorporate this? My thought is broader is better. And the more description you can add, the better as well. It's the first time that they've done it this way. I think it's um, an effort to try and be more um, inclusive and transparent of the process. So I think there are no wrong answers at this point, but the more uh, detail and uh, the broader you can make it, the better. So then I think three kind of, we could just, it's already got the most wording, I guess, in it, just expand it to maybe just say expand healthcare access and community resources for vulnerable populations or or you might want to maybe not community resources that's not the right term yeah you might want to maybe specify what you mean by vulnerable populations because it could be the homeless it could be a youth at risk yeah i think it was meant it was meant to encompass all those things so i don't know if it's too broad right but like no that it's it's fine if you want yeah. to make it broad i, I think just I um yeah I, just I maybe having meant... something that that describes that yes we actually mean it to include yeah. all these i think when i put it forth i meant homeless and um you know uh just generally like people, you know, like the social determinants of health. So the people, the at-risk populations, including the homeless, um, those with mental health needs, the incarcerated, uh, the youth at risk. So it was meant to be kind of broad when I put it together, but I just didn't type it all out. Mm -hmm. And that includes communities of color? Yes, of course. Like, a, I mean, any community with, like that's, uh, I mean, I guess this is addressing health health disparities. Really, is what the intention of that bullet was. Yeah. So we could we could fill all that in. And merge it with twelve. And merge it with with twelve and fourteen. And maybe fifteen. Yeah, makes sense. Well, that makes it easier to pick five. We've just <laughs> compressed and the then, list. And then I think he, I don't know if you mentioned eight and eleven go together, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I was I was getting to that. Yeah. We have COVID twice. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Let me see if I can do that here. All right. Let's just say. So we'll take out COVID and leave in and general. Um, Unless people would just want to, uh, now we're voting on the list, <laughs> in a sense, um, leave COVID in, as itself or also include an emergency response preparedness. Maybe make it broader for, for preparedness, including COVID, because COVID is the current crisis, but presumably there are going to be other crises in the future, like in terms of so infection, talking about making diseases, or I was just saying um, the COVID-19 and general emergency preparedness and merge that with also the emergency medic. So, uh, oh, hold on. Maybe I'm just getting myself confused. We don't have. Yeah, I mean. We can. General emergency preparedness and response, including COVID-19. Well, that sort of. Yeah. Um, I guess that just gets rid of 11, right? Uh, yeah. But that also addresses I, I must... five. It also addresses five, right? Because 
public well, that's health a broader staffing. It's yeah, broader, I guess. So that's much broader. And the emphasis is different if you you know, make it general emergency preparedness um, with COVID rather than just COVID funding. And so I think it changes the, um, the em emphasis a lot. Okay, um, Steve, you have a hand up. So we have, we were given in advance a list of 15 items. Yeah. The time to think about them. Yeah. Most, of them. most of them are nuanced except for number 11. So, so yeah. I'll have different from number eight. How, what kind of process were you envisioning with the vote? I mean, if we're each going to vote in order of preference and vote five times, this may all sort itself out without going through. You know, I really meant this or that. I think they really meant that. It might be worthwhile just to see what happens with a tally. Just a thought. Well, true. What you say is true, but making it um, simpler, more condensed, uh, less overlap, we might, um, and, and more specific. Just this conversation was to make sure that everybody knew what each topic encompassed. But I think it, it would be good to, com to condense them a little bit so that um, I'm not, um, I don't want to be put in a position that I'm making decisions about, um, about this, you know, as after you vote. I want to make it clear what you voted is what I'm going to pass on. So if two people, you know, if the vote is split uh, across COVID and COVID uh, between eight and 11, I don't want to make arbitrary decisions for the voter that, oh, we'll just, you know, put those together. So that's what this conversation is kind of avoiding, that we do it in advance. So um, people have um, suggested condensing them because they overlap, um, some of them, and, and yet some of them just being more specific. So making one, uh, let's say Larissa was talking about specific specifying the vulnerable populations under three so that it's clearer. Um, and then perhaps um, not needing seven uh, because they will, well, actually, actually not seven, but, um, oh. They, yeah, seven, seven and 14, even seven, I guess. Yeah, 14. Seven, seven and 14 could collapse into three. Yeah. Um, I think 12 also, service. right? Oh, and 12. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that too. Yeah, 12, 14, 15 even, I think Sonal suggested that. So that so, could also go into three, correct? All yeah, right. So you're basically collapsing one, two, three, four. So you're removing four. So now you have a list of 11 or something like that. Okay, so does anybody have any problems with that, condensing those? No, health equity issues. Okay. Since we, since we have the three topics that are related to correctional health, mental health, and alternatives to incarceration, yeah. would we wanna maybe just put those under one, one heading of you know, correctional health, mental health, and alternatives to incarceration or something like that? Okay. Does anybody have an objection to that? I'll do the easy one first. Oh. If we, if, if you wouldn't mind, if we could also say mental health and substance abuse are co-occurring, just uh, so that uh, both okay. sides uh, get that attention. We okay. could also then in three, remove the correctional health stuff that's listed there because then it would go into that other category. Okay. So, so maybe me... maybe other other vulnerable populations like the home. I mean, there's obviously still overlap, but like the homeless youth at risk um, and health equity, but not including correctional health and put, put the rest in correctional health. Okay. All right, uh, let's take this out then. Is that okay with everyone? And just say no if that's okay. Let's get rid of that. And we will merge um, under correctional health. Use my noisy keyboard. Um, 
including family mental health services. Um, we'll take out adult correctional health because that's kind of already done in there. And could we add on one correctional health, including expanding mental health and substance abuse services? Yeah. yeah. Much appreciated. Um, okay. All right. I'll fix the wording after and just an additional resources. All right. Um, so COVID, uh, should we get rid of nine and put it, just assume it's under COVID-19 and leave the parenthetical? Okay, so this goes out. Uh, health equity issues, are we? I thought we were putting that in three. Nine in three. No, no, uh, nine going into three or two now. Uh, it's two now. Two now. It was three. So, all right. We'll just move it up there. Well, let me take 12 out first. 12. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's move it. So, we'll just put it there for the moment. Um, no, not one of those. Okay, we'll leave it there. And STDs was going in there, correct? It's already in there, so we'll just... Um, do you feel it needs to be specified in, in three or, or are we okay? Well, it's not even three anymore now, right? Did... Um, it's vulnerable populations. Should we put... STDs leave out for STDs, syphilis, medicated. Okay. Um, oh, this is long. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just going to do STDs. Um, and we'll put in, especially in youth. Is, uh, is that all right if we move this one up there? To here. Oh, it didn't work properly. Okay. All right. Is this also going into 12? And if so, how so? So now that was yours. Is there any specific way you want it included? Um, no, I don't think so. I think just wanting to broaden it to more than just healthcare access, that would have been my only thing. I definitely okay. want to include healthcare access to Larissa's point, but I think it's broader than just healthcare access. It's increasing other, I don't know, supports and services kind of broadly. Yeah, maybe okay. healthcare access and other services. Is that I think enough? that I think that's broad enough. I think it yeah. leaves us openings to discuss other things. Okay. Do you want me to uh, define? vulnerable populations, uh, as Olivia suggested. You could say including, but not limited. <laughs> if yeah. we really want to, limited to the, I think we talked about youth at risk. Um, yeah, I have them the all. Homeless, homeless and those uh, I don't know, per persons of color and other you want I mean, everything low except income. correctional health, right? Um, and low income. low income or 
and the men and the men the mentally ill and disabled i don't know how we want to word it and those with way. mental health it needs mental health needs or the dis and the disabled <laughs> i don't know how to yeah i'm like trying to word it in a way that it's but i i think okay. it, sh it should I can, include the including but not limited to because we may not have thought of something yeah i did including but not limited to all right so i can uh fix the wording somewhat can, can we revise um, mental to behavioral health so we capture substance yeah. use thank you okay to those with behavioral thank you i knew i was i knew i was missing something <laughs> health needs and the disabled okay um behavioral health needs yeah that's good okay um so this will health equity will come out yeah is that, um is that going into that too or is that it was but it it seems to uh, um that I'm was sure. mine and I'm personally okay with that. I think okay. other services is not enough to cover it. And then yeah. I think six might have been mine, but please chime in if it wasn't. And I think I if that okay. was mine, it can it's in two now as well. I think the health equity in two, yeah, it can just and to address, you know, I mean the whole purpose is to address inequities, right? So or disparity. Yeah. Okay. So and we I'll should use the word. Down. All right. How are we doing? Are we ready for a vote? Because we're hitting a time crunch here. I propose we we move to vote because I actually have to leave in two minutes. Good. I'm okay. Selfish. Uh, my selfish Thank need. You. But... <laughs> no, that's good. And um, so I'm going to leave them like this. Um, I'll give you a minute to look them over and decide what the five is. It seems like two would equal five, but well, we got five, so we'll, we'll let them know. Um, and we can put them in priority. Um, if, if you want one to five, I can specify that as we are presenting them in the order of priority. So there are eight on there. If we pick five, please try and vote with your top priority as one and your we, you know, lesser priority is two, et cetera. Um, and I'll just fix the wording, help me, including the spending, the need to expand. Okay. Um, just one specification. Are we leaving in all of this? Yes, thinking not just of mental health. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll just say including. Is that fine? Thinking of it. Including behavioral health. The um, screening. Oops. Disease. Okay. All right. So we have a chat. If nobody has any other suggestions, um, we can enter this into the chat. So as I said, could you enter it as one to five and just uh, actually you could just enter it, your first priority, just pick a number. If it's one, do one. If the second priority is eight, then that would be eight. And the third would be, Three, if that or four, if that's yours. Is that fine with everybody? So do, um, just so I understand, you want us to yeah. list list these topics in our priority? It, it, if that's good for you, yes, I think it would be helpful for the board of supervisors to have them, and we'll, I'll just specify that they are presented to them in priority. What we feel is most important, um, and then um, from one to five. So. Okay. All right, the chat's open. Oh, great, thank you.
Okay. Um, the answer up to. Liz, can you just check that everybody? Um, uh, yes, I'm trying um, okay. to copy and paste everything. Great. Do it and just have it in the notes. And, you know, this is the vote, so we don't necessarily need to do anything else because we can do the, the math later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But let me just make sure I have everybody. Okay. Carla, did you put yours in as well? Yeah, just now. Actually, you know, uh, I hope we can all see them. Um, oh, we my can, hand. but we can't see yours, Carla. Can you send it again to the whole group? Yeah, I will. I just noticed that because you came up as everyone. Okay. Um, let me do that again because you were on as this. Okay. Okay. Terrific. So we'll have a, a record of the chat. Uh, we have a chat file and um, it will give us that. All right, uh, anything else? Are we good? Any comments? Any comments from the public? Because we have public comments to take. Nope. I so thank you for this. I uh, really think this is um, gonna be great that we can have input to the Board of Supervisors and help them in their priorities. So thank you again. And I'll see you at the next meeting in October. <laughs>